Slay Bolden waits at the 10 yard line. Last time Chapman dropped one at the two yard line with a little help from his friends. Hits this one way up in the air. He might get help from his friends again. Same guy, same spot. No timeouts for the tie. Roger McCreary back in as he was on the last series after taking a couple of plays off. Zone coverage for Auburn. Bryce Young in his own end zone. Here comes the heat. He's hit as he throws incomplete. And it was T.D. Moultrie. How many times has he made a point? Well, he started out the game on the first series like going to, is he going to just control the whole game? And he does again coming off that right edge. It's been a nightmare. When you have a problem area right there, it just makes everything else so much harder because you bring people in to help, and that makes you less efficient in your pass offense. Young threw to. Mechie last time and underthrew him on that top sideline. Will he go that way again? If he gets a chance. Going to go down the middle. Overshot Slade Bolden. What was the word that Derek Mason used? We want to make number nine uncomfortable. Right. They have done that. Pressure all game. Even when he has time, he feels it. He's in the end zone. He's missing throws that he normally makes. He might only have, there's Derek Mason. He might only have two throws left. Third and ten. Again, the snap was a little low. Young loads. Now throws late. Got it complete. First down. He has a, almost a six sense about where that line of scrimmage is as he moves up in the pocket he just feels how far he can go forward and lets it go just before he gets to the line pick up of 22 first down tied again on the run this time he's going to keep it and get out with about a nine yard gain with 106 left remember that there should be 40 seconds less in this game. If Bixby doesn't go out of bounds, instead of 106, it would be 26. Young fires near side, caught and out of bounds. Jacoby Brooks, who's in for Jamison Williams with a big grab. Plenty of time for this Alabama offense. Decent coverage, perfect throw. You think you've got, Simpson thinks he's got him. Ball is perfectly placed. Pick up a 21 that time. Young. Flush to his left. Not going to get him. And he'll run out of bounds with a pickup of about three. That part doesn't matter, but it stops the clock with 53 seconds. As calm as he was in the first quarter as he is right now. No heartbeat in this guy. Just, just steady the whole game. Nick's more nervous than <laughs> number nine. Mechie up to the top. Brooks down to the near side. The throw is to... Brooks, did he step out of bounds? Yes, he did. Couldn't quite keep his feet in. Yep, his left foot's already out yep. when he catches the ball. By the way, that was a decent protection that time by that offensive line. Four-man rush. The center of that pocket was clean. Moultrie back in the game. Got a breath of fresh air, and Auburn's going to take a blow. They want their pass rushers fresh for this play. It'll be a third down and seven. 48 seconds remaining in regulation play. And look at Will Anderson. Even though he's not out on the field, as Gary said, he's the alpha dog, and he's trying to crank up that offense. This drive started at the three-yard line. Remember on second down, Bixby breaks it out to his left. Can't blame him so far, but right about now when he realizes he's got nothing, slide, fall down, get down. And actually, he didn't, and that cost him 40 seconds. 
allowed Alabama to save a timeout. They stop them on third and short, able to take the timeout there. Would have been a full 40-second runoff by the Auburn football team. Mechie and Bryce Young, the main battery, again having a chat before they head back out on the field. When does Derek Mason bring the heat again? He's been playing it safer, man to man, but safer. Only four man rush. Third and seven. Young. Throws as he goes down, incomplete. Are they going? It was a hitch and go, and McCreary stopped it to the outside. They're going to try to go hitch and go, and it gets stoned. And Bryce Young does a good job of just getting rid of the football that time. Yep. Alabama times, 0 for 3 on fourth downs. How many times did you say this is the play of the game? <laughs> well, going on number here you four. go. <laughs> Fourth and seven, Alabama, down a touchdown. Bryce Young backpedals, throws, got his man, it's Billingsley, and he's out of bounds with a first down. Hadn't thrown to number 19 all day long, and he gets a big, big first down. Watch Chris Owens this time at right tackle. He's had problems, but not this time on the spin move. He stones it and allows Bryce Young to throw the play. Fourteen yard pickup on fourth down and that's first down at the 28 two deep safeties again. No blitz Young throws quickly and nobody home in the corner of the end zone I don't know if Jacoby Brooks broke off his route or what happened there Brooks goes down, does a stop route. Bryce Young thinks he's going stop and go, I guess. Yes, exactly. Again, number seven playing extensively because Jamison Williams is out this second half due to a targeting in the first half. Thirty three seconds left. Mechie up on top Billingsley who just caught that last pass two plays ago in the slot. Bryce Young in trouble again and gets hit as the ball goes harmlessly into the middle of the field. Yeah put a little pressure on him but that time again able to get the ball away. Save it for third down. Sack here could be disaster. Almost hit the umpire. You look behind Bryce Young with less than a half minute to go. Looking for Brooks in the corner. Got it. Touchdown Alabama. You got a guy down. You got a chance to win a football game. You make a simple mistake. You go out of bounds and give Alabama life and they make you pay for it. Perfect throw and remember when Nick Saban went over to the bench and said somebody's got to come through. It was Ja'Cory Brooks. Ja'Cory Brooks in the corner of the end zone. Will Reichard in for a point after. Plays being reviewed on that last catch. Just think that's great coaching by Nick Saban. He walked over to everybody on the bench and said, Who's going to come through? 28 yard touchdown if it stands did he on third and 10. Did he control it the whole way? Got it with his right foot, comes down. 
has it in his left arm. When he gets up, he bobbles, and I think well, he controlled it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you get up to hand it to the official with that. Well, Calvin Johnson might argue with that, but well, that was a true. while ago. Gene Steratore, what do you see, Gene? He brought that Calvin Johnson statement up and gave me a nightmare real quick there, Brad. But in this situation, great reception by the receiver. As, as you mentioned, he's going to the ground. He must survive the ground. He definitely survives the ground. It's a great catch and a great After play. The ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. Gave him just enough life. 40 seconds, too much time, and it costs you a chance to win the game. Doesn't mean you're going to lose it, but it costs you a chance to win the game. The extra point, all important for Will Reichert. Oh, yeah. He's 167 out of 169 extra points in his career. Burn it to hold. For the tie and possible overtime. Up and perfect. And the switch to Major Tennyson as the holder on the field, too. Bryce Young having a moment in the corner of the end zone. You just can't get blown off the ball. The Tide can get a first down at the three. Bryce Young, down the middle, touchdown Alabama, Slade Bolden. He's at the top of the bunch this time, Slade Bolden. He's right here, he fakes like he's going to go to the corner, and then he stops. Watch, you think he's going wide? Stops, gets it. Stops and kneels and makes the grab. Yep. He dropped one of those earlier when we were watching. Remember early in the season? Yep. This time, nope, ain't dropping that one. From the right hash to try to send us to a third overtime. Riker, kick on the way. It is good. We go to overtime number three. Again, Mechie's going to cross the field in motion. That sets up three receivers to Bryce Young's left. Goes that way on a quick slant. He's got it to Mechie for the two-pointer. These bunch looks are so difficult to defend all the time. Three guys, and you're only trying to gain three yards. Mechie's going to go out and then back in. Comes out, gets the outside technique, and then he comes back inside of it. You almost knew they had exactly what they want because they came back to the same formation. This is our play, and we're sticking with it. And here we go. Tigers will line it up at the three-yard line. Well, you know they've already used their best two-point play on the first one. I right? hope they got a second. Yeah, what do they got for their number two two-point play? They got everybody kind of stacked in tight. Now they spread them out a little bit. Johnson in motion, they fake it to him. Finley pumps once, throws late, almost intercepted by McKinstry. McKinstry gets in there, just stays all the way, trusts his position. He knows he's got him, he's on the back end of the play, follows him the whole way, right there. There he is, following him the whole way. Doesn't panic, turns around, finds the football, and makes the play. Ball's a little behind, maybe more than a little bit behind. Jackson had him by about a yard and a half, wasn't there. For a freshman, though, what a big moment, yes. big play. Now it's Alabama's chance to win. It was a well-designed play, was not a good throw. Christian Leary in the backfield with Bryce Young. Remember, they hooked up against Arkansas on a touchdown that basically won that game. Larry in motion. The throw goes the other way. Mechie's in. Alabama wins in four overtimes.
the Crimson Tide pull it off in the fourth quarter and four extra sessions. Ness, it's been a matchup all game, and Mechie runs a beautiful route. You can't do it any better than this. Watch this one-on-one -on -one route down here. You can't cover this. Patience, patience, fake in. Got him. Thought he was going to run the slant, and he beats 23. They've been eye-to-eye -eye all game. Two all-conference performers the entire afternoon.